Yo, what's good, people? It's Jay Cactus, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to spice up any drill beat using drum fills. I've just finished designing 30 unique drum fills that you can use at the end of every 8 bar or 16 bar or just anywhere you think they fit. So, I'm gonna be making a full beat from scratch and showing you how I personally use them. Then, if you like the sound of them, you can check the link in the description for the Defiant Drum Fill Kit. So, let's get straight into it. Alright, so before I add any fills or any drums, obviously we're gonna need a beat. So I wanna make something melodic this time. So I'm gonna go with this Peel guitar. This is in Labs, which is a free plugin, so I'll definitely cop this. And I just wanna start with some kind of catchy melody. So even that. and then just change the ending. Okay, you might have something here. And then from here we can just build some chords. We'll just follow that same kind of pattern. Invert in the middle one. Maybe just extend this note. And then as always, just to make it more natural, I'm just gonna move some notes. And then just randomize the velocity. Then I'm gonna copy that over and maybe change something in the second half. Maybe just fade these ones up. And then that same kind of pattern down here. And then we could chop this note. We'll try a few different keys too. Maybe on something like F. Kind of like it there. I'm just gonna widen it though, the sound was in mono. I just want the guitar just a little bit wider. We'll just get some reverb on that as well. I feel like I use this plugin in every single beat. And I think just a little bit of chorus. I like the way this one sounds. And I think a bit of half time as well. Give you some lower end. Okay, and I'm also gonna add some frozen strings, but this is just to add a bit of texture. Then I'm gonna filter those out a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna take the chords, copy them into contact. In contact, I'm just using this Barely Home pad preset in glaze, and it sounds like this. It's just got a bit of movement to it. And then with the guitar. So now we've got a nice sort of layer underneath it. Alright, next up I'm here with some vocals, so I'm gonna see what I can find. Alright, so I've just found four different vocal one-shots. I've put them in time, and it sounded like this. But I can chop them up a bit and add some effects. I'm sending them to the same bus first though. Then we could bring the formant up on Little Lord Boy, and this will just make it sound a bit more high pitched. Yeah, I prefer that. And then I'm just gonna take an EQ and just filter this out. Sounds hard. So I've just got rid of that second one. I'm making the first one unique. I'm gonna reverse it and see if it sounds better. Yeah. Sounds hard. And I'm just adding this filter on the vocals too. Just subtle though. And I think that's all the melody needs, so I'm gonna start adding in the drums. For the counter snare, I'm gonna go with something like this one. I will just use a MIDI to speed up the process. So we can go to the hazy hi-hat MIDI kit and we'll just bring in some random ones. 
but we can just add a few fillers in. Maybe we could add a glide up here. Same here. Okay, and then for the rim, I'm gonna go back to volume four, because it's got my favorite rim in it. And then I've just added a tiny bit of delay to that counter snare. Got it, and ping pong too. Just add to the bounce. All right, let's get the 8 weight in two. Let's change actually. And then three at the end here. And then just pour it at the end here. Actually, we're going back to the posted one. I think I prefer this one. Alright, cool. The kick sounding hard as well. Let's just get a couple perks in there. And let's pan those two. And then I'll do the same, just coming back up. Let's get just a couple more perks in though. I'll try one more like this. All right, so let's say you're at this stage, you've got enough instruments in there. You think you've got enough drums, but you just want something to spice it up. What you can now do is start adding in some drum fills. So this pack is crazy. This is the Defiant drum fill kit I've been working on. So there's 30 drum fills in here. Each of them have been designed around drill beats, but you could use them for trap too. And I like to use this at the end of every eight bar or 16, but there's other ways you can use them too. And just have a listen to some of them. All sounded crazy. So literally any of these would just work in this beat. <laughs> Mad. So even that one I just played there, I'm going to drag this in. I've already wrote the BPM so I can click on fit to tempo and then 145. And I can just bring that back to round about there. The rises that I've used in this drum fill are hitting at G sharp. That's why I've noted it there. G sharp's in the scale that we're working in, but I think it's going to sound better on the root note. So I'm going to bring it down three so it's on F. We can turn it down a bit and now listen to this. See what I'm saying? Just makes it sound crazy. But what might be better is if I split this by channel and then we add a break in the drums. So you can do it either way. You can keep it with all the drums or you can cut the drums and have them in there. So for example, we could cut all of these here. Even the kick. <laughs> Sounds mad. Could even cut the eight way. See what I'm saying? It just makes your beat sound 10 times harder. So I like that fill. I'm going to keep it in. I'm just going to do a quick arrangement though and work out where we can put another. And I'm going to make one unique because the count melody has been muted this whole time. But I want it in some parts. So maybe I could take the first half of this one and then introduce it. So maybe we could add another fill like just before the drop. So let's just figure out which one to add. Most of them are like drill fills and then I've added some which have real drums like this. Sometimes they work in drill beats too and they sound crazy. So that could work. So one of my favorites with real drums is this one. So we can fit to tempo, it's 142. If it doesn't come up there, just go on type in BPM and then you can just type it in there, 142. Rise is hitting on D, so I'm gonna pitch this up three. 
See what I'm saying? But we could have a different pause. So I've just made this one unique and I just want a little pause at the end. So maybe I could cut these. So I can save the pad. So I've just made the cut there. I'm gonna cut the vocals a bit too. I'll save the perks for the next part of the hook. I'm gonna save that fill for this section too, and then we'll find another one to put here. Hard. I'm gonna save that one too. I don't need them after every A bar. Okay, in this one, I'll have another little pause. Okay, maybe have a little break of the fills there. Could bring the textures back. Add some of the vocals. And then just for some variation, we could turn Alter Boy off in the verse, just so they're a little bit lower. And then we could bring this fill back. Okay, then we can copy this across. We'll just extend these. And then before the hook, I can just start taking a few things out. And then we can bring the big fill back. Maybe even this one underneath it. Yeah, that's going to sound hard going into the hook again. But for some variation, I've just brought the guitar down an octave at the beginning of the verse and the end. All right, so at this point, I can just copy everything across. And then let's have a listen from the beginning. Okay, so in the intro, we just got the guitar, but without the counter melody. But it comes in here, and then the first drum fill. Yeah, we've got the texture of the strings and some of the vocals and then the second fill. Now in this section, we've got everything. And then the third one. <laughs> See how much difference they make? Like I've been using these fills in almost every beat recently. But yeah, now that we're in a verse, obviously most things have dipped. And then some of the vocals, but without Alter Boy. And then just another little pause. And then that one basically repeats, but it plays all the way through here. Extend those actually. So we've got it down an octave here. 